Hey guys, a successful and engaging e-course will look different depending on what you're teaching, who you're teaching, and of course your personal style. But today I wanted to talk about three e-course must-haves that you should consider if you want to run an e-course that people will love. These tips will help you create a really quality e-course that you can charge a premium price for. And I think that no matter what you're teaching or what your style is, you can find a way to incorporate these things into your course too. The first e-course must have that I wanna talk about is having a variety of content types. Did you know that there are seven different learning styles? When you're building a course, it's really important that your content resonates with as many different people as possible. The way to do this is to take into account everyone's different learning styles and make sure you're offering your content in a variety of different ways. My favorite way to do this is with video. Video works well for auditory and visual learners, which are both really common types. And you can also create content that complements your video, like text, a transcript, or some printable worksheets. Plus, video can make your course look really professional. Nothing says high quality and produced like video does. There are a lot of different ways that you can incorporate video into your e-course, and there are even some ways that you can do so if you're shy and you don't even wanna show your face. And I've put a link in the description below to one of our recent blog posts where we talk about a whole bunch of different ways that you can incorporate video into your course. The second must have is interaction. One of the best things about an e-course is that your students get the feeling that you're teaching them one-on-one. -on -one. So it's important to show your personality and provide plenty of opportunity for interaction. And not just with you, but with your other students as well. Creating a community around your course is really fun for your students and will definitely keep them engaged. The comment section at the bottom of each lesson is a great place for this but consider setting something else up like a live video or one-on-one -on -one calls or a private group on Facebook or Slack. Your students will love getting the opportunity to talk to you directly and ask you questions. And it's also really motivating to be part of a group of people working through the same course together. My last e-course must have is to set a clear goal for your students. And Samantha Parker from Badassery Magazine said this best when she said, it's not what you're teaching, but it's how you're changing someone's life. Having a clear goal for your students will help guide every aspect of your course building and promotion. Just think of how you want your course to affect someone's life. And it doesn't have to be in a big way. Your course goal can be something like, I want my students to have a more creative life, or I want my students to have social media profiles that people love to follow. You can really adapt this idea to anything you're teaching. And once you have your goal written out, keep it in mind when you're creating your course content, when you're interacting with your students, and especially when you're creating your promotional material for your course. When you talk about your course in this way, it'll get people really excited to sign up and your students will be more likely to finish your course too. And happy customers means repeat customers and great word of mouth for you too. So be sure to incorporate these must-haves into your course and I hope that my ideas will help you create an e-course that people will love. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I miss any must-haves? And be sure to subscribe to our channel if you wanna keep seeing more videos like this.